So my friends, I am at my place and if you know, uh, I recently had uh, an injury in my foot and uh, which prevent me to go uh, fossil hunting at least for a, for a bit. But now I decided to do this quick video showing one of the tips that I normally, one of the things that I normally do for fossil hunting and I keep, as, I keep saying that I use Google Earth or Google Maps to search for fossils and some of you guys don't quite understand how I'm able to do that so uh, it's, quite, it's quite simple so I know that this area over here and the other area that is in this side uh, had fossils because I already found something way up here in the past but this side for me it's quite unknown and normally I pick this, the spots like that so if you do a, a zoom you can clearly see that the, that this is a well s sort of a dis disturbed ground because you can see some tire marks in here well this uh, I believe these are trees and someone passes a tractor in here so it's quite easy uh, if you want to search for fossils to go to search in here because the ground was disturbed and some rocks that normally are buried might might appear in the surface but this is not the the, the point that I want to explore so the point that I want to explore and now the, the tip that I want to give it to you guys is to search for places where there could be exposed bedrock like this other thing in here I don't know if this is a quarry but there is a bunch I believe boulders or rocks in here and you can see that they made some cut in the mountain so it's better for you to search fossils in here rather than excavating the whole ground so you can see that because it casts a shadow this dark line over here it casts a shadow I believe this is could be a few meters high and there is another step in here and you can clearly see that there is a, also a shadow in here so uh, when when uh, when my feet uh, is better so this is could be a, an excellent spot to to try to find fossils and there is another good thing because uh, I like to walk a lot but some of you might not like that but you can see that there is a paved road that passes right in here and you can pick a place or a spot to park your car and go check whatever that is in here so one thing that that I like to do is also I use this feature the street view so I can see the the street from here but the the, the unpaved road I cannot see nothing but just from this point so you can clearly see so that there is some sort of a trail there is a well I guess a, a wall of rocks in here but there are no houses nor fences so I think it's quite safe to investigate for fossils in here and I just want to show you another th good th thing so you can look see on the top of this hill I guess that over there might be exposed bedrock I never been in this place so it's quite easy just to pick a spot and you when you arrive there you go straight there and it's more easy to find fossils in here rather than, than in this bush or and this grass that is in here another good good uh, thing that it is so it's looking it's look for clues so uh, you can see that there is some signs over here and this is a uh, hunting ground but well it's quite normally it's quite safe um, and you can clearly see that there is a water line that passes in here and that led me to believe that could be sedimentary deposits right above in here and if you know the 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 area that I want to search is way up there so this is a good good candidate to to search for fossils and you can see that in the morphology of the, the, the mountains you can clearly see that this uh, makes sort of a small valley so I guess this couldn't be better so it's quite a, a good place to start so uh, this is what I normally do I made some investigation mainly on Google Earth and then try to to see what what can I uh, retrieve from the image if it is a good place 
because I have my time limited so I cannot spend the whole day searching for fossils so but one other thing that I want to point out is that uh, sometimes the image on Google Earth could be uh, quite old and um, imagine it, it has happened to me so uh, doing this all of this path and you arrive here and you see that this spot that you want to investigate is already covered with something so it could happen so you keep that in mind that normally the image that you that you see on Google Earth are a bit, a bit outdated so you another tip that I want to give you is to have a backup plan so if this doesn't work you have some other points to to investigate so I don't advise you to go into plantations because the owners might be around and they don't like a lot but you can clearly see that there is some plantations in here this area seems a bit desert and probably is because it, it is a, an anti, a hunting ground but you can see that in here check this out in here there is a bunch of boulders also there is a normal uh, uh, a white area which led me to believe that this is exposed bedrock or sands so this is could be an also a good place to to start the investigation so uh, that's about it the, this is the the tip that i want to give you guys so uh, stay safe uh, well don't do anything uh, crazy don't trespass properties and that's about it uh, see you soon fossil hunting friends bye